In this video, I'm going to talk about how I am organizing my whole system for keeping track of articles and other resources for my research in my leadership PhD program. We're going to talk about five different things. The folders on my hard drive, references that I've collected or I'm collecting in EndNote, two journals that I have, my next actions list, and my article notes on my blog. And in future tutorials, we'll talk more about specifically how to do some of these things. But this is to give you an overview of how I'm keeping myself organized. And one of the principles is that I'm trying to do this digitally. I want to have as many things not printed as possible. So here we go. Let me show you first my hard drive for my leadership PhD and where I how I've organized all my files. I have folders for classes and other things, but the main thing is for my dissertation. I have things in here. I also have my lit, lit review folder, which has a lot of stuff in it. And the interesting piece in here is my full text folder. This is where I'm saving down all the full text versions of the articles. These folders are created when you save an HTML file, and these are my PDFs. And you can see that I've organized these sort of like they're going to be in a bibliography. So author, the main authors, first authors, last name, the date, and some kind of keyword that helps me know what that article is about, and then how long it is. I don't have this on all of them, but I'm trying to do that so that when I have a few minutes, I can read a short article like this one, or when I have a lot of time, then I can read a dissertation like this one, very long. So um, those are, that's basically how I have my folders organized. You can see I've got some other ones, finished courses go in there, but that's basically how my folders are organized. All right, the next thing I want to talk about is EndNote. EndNote is one of the different tools that can be used to keep track of your references. I'm using EndNote because that's what the leadership program recommends. There are other tools, but I've gotten myself hooked on this one, so I think I'll probably stay with it. I have two EndNote files, and EndNote basically keeps track of your references. So let me just show you what this looks like. You can have the database it came out of, the author, the year, the title, I'll scroll over here, what journal it came out of, what type of a reference it is, and you can also label it. And actually you can change what things show up here. And I'll show you later in other tutorials how I've done some of the little tricks and tips that I have. Okay, so I have two EndNote files. One is for my IDP and all the competencies that I have to cover in the leadership program. And you can see that I've organized them in groups. EndNote lets you organize files in groups and there are all the competencies. I have another file that's for my main research topic kind of my life is about video conferencing and so I'm trying to collect all the resources I possibly can and use them both for my dissertation as well as articles for my competencies and other things I want to get published so this is my huge collection of as many things as I can possibly find so I have a lot in here and it's organized again the same way I've got groups going down the side I've organized them into opinion and research articles you can see I've got one here even for ones that I don't know, I don't think they apply, but I want to keep them in here just in case. So that is how I am using EndNote. All right, the second, third thing I want to talk to you about is journals. I'm using uh, Word to kind of keep track of my own, let's see, there's the fact that I'm in Word. Let me change this so you can see a little bit more of what this journal looks like. I started this when I first started doing searches. Uh, let me scroll down to the bottom so you can see where I searched and what links I went to. And then since there, I've, if I have notes from someone, Dr. Kovrig has given me advice, I copy and paste that in here. If I get tired of searching on one place, it goes in here. Just kind of a place to write down where did I search today, what did I do, and it helps me know where, I, where I've been so that I know where I'm going next. I have another journal that I started after I started the stats class. This is also in Word. And um, as I started thinking about my research and the kind of data I wanted to collect, I had notes related to that, especially when I started getting differing opinions from people. I wanted to keep track of those. So here are just some examples of 
they're really scribbles, but it's really a, a place for me to keep track of my research thoughts. And that is in Word. Now I'm using another tool, Google Docs. You could say this could be in Word, but the reason I have it in Google Docs is because it's online. And I'm, I've been learning an organizational system that's called Getting Things Done, which you can Google and learn more about. Um, but one of the ideas with Getting Things Done is to have next actions. So when I'm searching and I'm running across interesting things, or I'm at work and I see an article, I want to keep track of that. So here's my web browser and what Google Docs looks like. And you can see the beginning here of my next actions. Get this book, find this. Uh, Heath is one of the major lit reviews in mine, so find all of those. Go to this uh, online database and search this. Um, it's that sort of thing. Or I go, I know I need to search this keyword again. Those are all my next actions. And as, you can, as you can see, I have a lot of work yet to do. I also have in here the things I have to do at the library. And these are um, articles, because I live here in Barron Springs, I'm not a true distance student at Andrews. I have to actually go to the library and get these print ones. If you're a distance student, like most of the leadership students are, you can get these via um, interlibrary loan. But for me, I have to actually go to the library. And you might have a library locally that you need to go to to actually get print things. So that's my long list of things that I could not get online in full text and I have to get in print. And that's in Google Docs again because I want to be able to access it from anywhere, whether I'm in the library, at home, at work, anywhere. I, if something crosses my mind, I can write it down and say, oh, I need to chase that a little further for my research. And then the final uh, thing that I want to show you is my blog. If I was printing all these articles, I would be writing on them and jotting notes, but I really didn't want to print a lot of paper in my dissertation research, so I decided I want to collect my notes somewhere. somewhere. If I'm going to write them down and they're going to be digital, I might as well put them on my blog. My blog is, <laughs> you can see how small this screen is that I'm trying to show you in. It's called Video Conferencing Out on a Limb, and it's where I share resources and ideas about using video conferencing in education. And so I thought it would just make sense for me to share my notes in here as well as having them for me. One of the beauties of having it on my blog is this little search button, which allows me to actually put in a keyword and find a post that I wrote about something. But let me just show you what my notes look like for one of these articles. I start with the full reference, and I'm getting better at doing these in APA. This one doesn't look like it's quite right. Um, all, all the content information. I have my own little code for what topic it's about. Main point, methods, findings, author, audience, crafts, references, questions or thoughts, whether it's relevant. And people are actually commenting on this. This one has a comment on it, so it's kind of neat that other people are commenting on my notes. And I'm looking for one other example here. I wanted to show you this. This is really critical because I know sometimes I'm going to come back and I'm going to want to know the page number. So if I really like a quote or something, I'm trying to include the page number so that I can easily find it again. So that's how I'm using my blog. So those are the five components to my organizational system for my dissertation research and leadership work. The folders, my EndNote references, my journals, and next actions in Google Docs and my blog. If you would like, please comment and share how you are organizing yourself for your research.